Hello and you're very welcome uh, to the KBS Open Day, Virtual Open Day. My name is John McCarthy. I'm a faculty member at the Department of Management and Marketing in the Kemi Business School. And I'm here today to talk about the MSc in International Management and Global Business, of which I am currently the course director. So the content of today's presentation, I'm just going to briefly introduce the Kemi Business School, talk a little bit about the programme, its structure, the electives we have in the spring semester, the international workshop component, which usually occurs in January between the autumn and spring semesters, the very important thesis component of the programme, and also graduate employability and destinations, and also as well, just some information uh, in terms of Q&A. So the Kimmy Business School is one of Ireland's leading business schools. We have over 3,000 students and over 100 faculty and staff. Um, we were awarded the Best Business School in 2017 for the second year in a row by the LD in Business Recognition Awards. We are ASCSB accredited in addition to being EPAS accredited. So we are among a very elite group, top 5% of international business schools. So the MSc in International Management and Global Business has been a full-time KBS postgraduate program since 2009. Usually the size of the class can range from between 25 to 40 students and typically you're looking at a, a multinational cohort drawn from people from all over the world and people with very different backgrounds uh, and sometimes different degrees of work experience. The course has a, an, an international reputation and is ranked number 55 in Europe and number three in Ireland in a recent Eddy Universal ranking in 2019. So we've got uh, strong evidence over the many years since we've been running the programme of very high graduate employment rates and also some very pre prestigious employment destinations as well uh, from our, our past graduates. So in terms of the course structure, just a little bit more detail and breakdown. So we use the DCTS credit system, which you may be aware of. So you'll notice when you look at the autumn semester, we have five, six credit ECTS modules, no electives, they're all mandatory modules, and we have a professional development module as well. Both in, in autumn and spring, both were three credits. They're pass-fail modules, just like the international workshop module in the winter break. Usually it's held in January. So the professional development modules are run by our excellent colleagues in the careers office, and they work on developing programs to try and help uh, make you more workforce ready and more interview ready, more job ready. It's re two really excellent modules and a very core important part of the program in making you um, the best competitive graduate you can possibly be. Now, the spring semester, um, there are four mandatory modules and you have an elective choice, one of two modules, corporate responsibility or public management practice. And we also have, of course, obviously the professional development module as well, which I've also discussed about. So five mandatory modules and one elective. So you decide by, as we'll talk about in a second, uh, earlier in the autumn semester as to which elective you'd like to do. Now, the summer, um, we focus on the research paper, which is worth three and a half modules, 21 ECTS credits, if you take each module as being six credits, typical module, and that's typically delivered uh, in mid-August. Now, the research paper has a supporting methodology and research methods module in autumn, which I'll also talk about in a second. So I've mentioned the spring summer electives, spring semester electives, I should say, so you've two E6 ECTS credit options, either corporate social responsibility or project management in practice. So you must choose by week five of autumn semester, but you can opt to change uh, your chosen elective, uh, but you should do so as early as possible uh, to avoid a fine in spring semester. So we recommend, and I think it's acceptable that to do this up to the end of, of week two in the spring semester. Now our international workshop, which is a really important part of the program, typically held in January. It's a pass-fail module, there's three credits. Um, this January is in January 2021. It'll be virtual and maybe virtual into the future, uh, depending on travel and other constraints that may apply given the current global situation. Past physical trip destinations have included Cape Town and Hanoi, as you can see from, from the photographs. And this is a key part of the program. And the reason why it's so it's, it includes a group consultancy project where the cohort are organised into different groups that work with a chosen NGO 
to help them understand and address the business problems which they provide in, in advance. So it really allows you to kind of work well uh, with an NGO and really try and get some good international consulting experience um, in terms of working on an international team. So you usually deliver a presentation as part of that workshop and up to that you get a chance to meet either virtually or physically the NGO and kind of get more of a sense of what their, their key issues are. As part of the international workshop, we don't just involve um, working with the NGO and the group consultancy project. We have lots of other social and cultural um, components. And also we get an opportunity to, to engage with business and entrepreneurs, uh, business leaders in that particular region or particular country and get a sense of what it's really like to do business. Because it's a particularly important part of this module as it is in the entire program to get a sense of the kind of challenges and um, advantages and, and risks that can apply when you're trying to manage internationally and, and try and operate as a global business manager or work within a global multinational or global business. The research thesis, um, which usually is due and delivered in mid-August, is worth 21 credits, three and a half modules. So this is a piece of research which you do uh, with the support of either a supervisor or a supervisory team of, of more than usually two people, but usually just one supervisor. This module is supported by uh, an autumn module where you get introduced to research methods and there's an emphasis within this module on trying to get you thinking about a potential topic that you may wish to explore in your research thesis that usually ha has to fit within broad business disciplines, entail some primary or secondary data analysis, and has some kind of international or global dimension to it. So the research thesis is you know, worth three and a half modules, so it's a very heavily weighted part of the program. Um, you must pass this module, and this module has a uh, no compensating fail um, element to it, so it's, you must get at least a C3 to pass the module. So the research thesis, a core, core element, you get supported through the research thesis module. You need to uh, work on an idea and try and identify a potential supervisor, try and develop the idea over the duration of the program, uh, but then deliver the final document in mid-August. So in terms of graduate employability and destinations, so 2017 ISB of the International Student Brahmin Survey ranked you well first in Ireland and second in Europe for employability. So in the 2018 Graduate Outcome Survey, 90% of our top postgraduates were employed. So we've had a, a very successful track record in placing uh, our, our graduates on this program as, as a feature of KBS and University of Limerick programs generally in many, many different industries, many different destinations, including management consulting, graduate and management material training in many different industries with a lot of blue chip uh, multinationals, a lot of very um, well-known brands, a lot of very strong international businesses and some of which are actually Irish businesses as well, and some of which are international, and also within our semi-state sector. It's important to remember as well that you know some of our graduates have got some of these roles you know, in positions of you know, very, very serious competition uh, up against many graduates um, from a lot of other universities, both in Ireland and throughout Europe. So that gives us a sense that the programme is producing graduates with the necessary and desired levels of skill to make them employable, not least of which is the content and material, but also be supported by the fantastic uh, input from the careers office and um, the real experience you get in terms of working with that NGO um, on the international workshop and the opportunity you have also to explore an area of personal interest relevant to this domain of international and global business in your research thesis. So if you have any questions and would like to follow up just in terms of any questions on the program, you can contact me at the University of Limerick at uh, my email address john.mccarthy at ul.ie. So that's john.mccarthy, J-O-H-N dot M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y at ul.ie. So thank you very much uh, for attending both this virtual open day and for your interest in the IMGB program. And hopefully we'll get to meet you um, as part of the program cohort in the future. Thanks again.